Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Des Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about love messages from your love interest, whether it's a twin flame or soulmate connection, whoever you have feelings for and thinking about right now. This reading can be yours if your sun moon, rising sign, or Venus is in Virgo. As always, I'm going to check what is happening between the two of you. So what is the energy for you to start with? And what is the energy for your person? We've got the mouse for you with opportunity. And your person's energy is showing up in two different cards. Focus, cheetah, and mermaid introspection. So, this is quite interesting. You are... Um, hmm, I, I feel that you are focusing on something that is in hiding in plain sight. Uh, for some reason with this mask, I'm getting uh, the elephant in the room. That's what spirit is giving me, the elephant in the room. Um, so there could be something that the two of you are avoiding to talk about or you are avoiding to talk about. Your person is um, really obviously turning their back on you, but their feelings are turned uh, so the mermaid representing the feelings is turned towards you. So it's like they try to put up this facade like they are not interested. They are focusing on someone, something else, someone else. To be honest, you are showing your back to them as well. Uh, but their emotions are showing up as they are looking back to what happened between the two of you. Very interesting. Okay, so let's ask um, what uh, your person is doing. What is happening? Okay, we've got the Ten of Cups. No, Ten of Pentacles, sorry. Privilege. So, um, even on this picture, the two of you are not really turning towards each other. The, you, the two of you are in a half with each other. There was some kind of argument. Maybe you broke up with each other can't even stand the sight of each other right now. And um, solitude at the bottom. So possibly you are not even talking. It's like, could be separation, no contact. Could be that you are together, but you are not talking to each other right now. Okay, so let's find out what your person would like to tell you. So what are these love messages from your person to you? What are these love messages from your person to you? Let's find out. Okay, we've got a bunch of them. <laughs> Heartbreak, heartache. Other people affecting the connection and light bulb moment. So your person, if they talk to you, would like to tell you that they figured out something. They are seeing something that they haven't seen previously in this connection. What is this light bulb about? What did they start to see clearly that they haven't seen before? What is that? So far you can be dealing with the Virgo as we have the Hermit card and now we've got a Scorpio one. This is the death card. So okay, we also have the strength card, which is called compassion here. You could be dealing with the Leo as well. So what they are realizing is what they thought was your weakness is your strength, and what they thought 
is an ending actually could just be that spending time apart will make you both focus on what you really need to focus on. So they are realizing that there was lots of deception. This is the Seven of Swords and um, the Queen of Wands is Spontaneity. And this deception was about thinking that this whole connection built, is built on or was built on passion of some sort. But they misjudged you. That's what I'm getting. And look at that. Both of these cards are like a girl and a crocodile, a woman and a leopard, I think. That's, I don't know. Um, so it's like um, they see the soft side of you, but they didn't see how strong actually you are. I feel that they are starting to realize that they are misjudged you and the situation between the two of you. Okay, so what would they want to tell you? If they could right now I hide behind material things I look for you everywhere I it was my fault but I blamed you it's time for me to heal now so there are lots of realizations here and uh, I feel that they may have been <clears throat> seeing you in a certain light but now everything changed I wish I could take back my words see what else okay I am afraid to contact you. I look for you everywhere, but I am afraid to contact you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I want to tell you how I feel. It's time for me to hear now. You speak to me through music. So this person is full of regrets and uh, so much so, they don't even dare to get in touch with you because they know they did something really wrong here. And they blamed you also. Okay, I am feeling one more row here. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I feel that they might have sabotaged this situation. Okay, I've got tons of them now. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I wish things could be different. I replay our conversations over and over. You are really on their mind right now. I remember every detail of that day. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I never know what to do with that card, but... They say it was my fault, but I blamed you. I want to tell you how I feel. I wish things could be different. I know I was a distraction from your pain, so it's more like... Um, Feeling sorry for themselves, although now they are seeing that they really messed this up. Okay, let's get, oops, one more card. Right, what fell on the floor whilst I was trying to get this deck is conversation. I want to call you and I, I want to hear your voice. So I'm going to put it there because it feels like that's the possible action. Understanding, I see your side of the story. Yeah, that's where this is exactly. They are 
allowing themselves to connect with their emotions. And although they make it out like they are in a half with you and they don't want to talk to you, they really do. And they really regret everything they said, everything they did. They want to make it disappear and they want to get back together with you. So this light bulb is the understanding on their side. Okay, what is spirit's um, perspective on this situation? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> We've got seduction, heartbroken, and cassette. So this person is playing everything over and over and over in their head. Um, this seduction is about attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference, like other people affecting the connection, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, any of that could be applying here, and cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, they are really, really, really thinking about you. And the bottom of the deck is karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So this person of yours is um, in a tough situation. And the karmic relationship could be with their person the third party. They really, really regret this one. That is for sure. And let's find one more message from them. They say you speak to them through music. I choose you and I choose you over and over and over without pause, without a doubt, in a heartbeat. I keep choosing you. Well, it doesn't look like it, but they might want it to be this way. I feel this is wishful thinking. They want to choose you, but they did not. And now they don't know how to come back to you. But it is still a third party situation. So what I really want to know is what spirit says about this. Where would they take this? They want to talk, they want to reach out, they are planning it in their head, but would they actually do it? Wine is a symbol of cheerfulness. So they might be drinking wine <laughs> to try to become happier and numbing their pain. So I don't think they are actually going to reach out so far, but it could change. Bouquet of flowers. Um, okay, and the mountains. So, it's almost like they want to date you, but they know it's uh, forbidden because of the third party. So, at the end of the day, it's... I feel it is their thinking, which we are connecting with thinking and feelings, but it's not manifesting. They may have tried to text you, they may have tried to call you, but it's like I'm not actually pushing the button, like hitting the phone, like call. It just brought up your name, we're sitting there, 
thinking about you, but not calling you. I wrote the text, but didn't send. So it's like they're really, really uh, attracted back towards you energetically, but I don't think they can do this. And the main reason is because they know they misjudged you, that you are not that softy that they thought you are, and um, that you have a very strong side of setting boundaries, bringing out your masculine energy, protecting yourself when you need to be protected. And they misjudge that. They thought they can just walk over you or you will be always very kind or you will be always uh, letting them back in. And this time they feel that <laughs> there it, we started with the mouse and the elephant in the room. They cannot come back without addressing the elephant and the elephant is so big such a big problem if they cannot talk about that i don't think you at all want to hear from them might be wrong but i think that's what is happening so virgo let me know how it resonates uh, whether it is your story and um, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. And if you wish to see the extended where I am going to ask more about this situation and your person, um, then uh, you can find the one of link in the description box or on Patreon. Take care. Bye for now.